PCM's rewired. Or not rewired. I put those new plug looking things in the PCM. The Jeep's right over here. We're gonna see if it worked. Now, if this doesn't work, it either means this plug is still an issue or that I broke the PCM. Either way, it's worth a shot. Well, fudgesicles. That's some boron sodium right there. You son of a buttermilk biscuit. The ignition isn't even engaging. And like the fuel pump's not coming on, nothing's coming on, and as far as the Jeep knows, the computer doesn't work at all. Prior to me fixing it, it at least recognized that the computer worked and everything else engaged, it just didn't start. There's a 75% chance that the computer was fine and I actually just broke it. There is technically one more thing we could try. We can try to pull the PCM out of the Cherokee and see if it'll fix it. But then the Cherokee won't have an ECM. So, I just got off the phone with Andy's You Pull It. It's a different local junkyard here in Longview, Texas. The other junkyard I usually go to, I used to go there for a convenience, but the guy there drives me crazy. I cannot stand that guy. As for Andy's You Pull It, the guy was actually super friendly. He said they're still letting people on the lot because you know there's you know so many acres back there and they think it's safe enough. The other place, they won't let anyone in because of the coronavirus. They have a 1995 Jeep. Supposedly the computer on there is the exact same as the YJ. I'm probably gonna run down there, cut it off, take it with me. Should fix the problem. Junkyards are the playgrounds for car people. It's gonna be great. It's actually an old Comanche. Supposedly, as long as it's a four liter, Cherokees, you know, Comanches apparently, all of those will still work. As long as the computer's the same, that's all in theory. I really don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to gamble on the possibility that it will because it's going to be a lot easier and cheaper to do it this way. It's, I'm sitting right now on a 95 Cherokee. I actually don't know where the PCM is located on these, so I'm going to have to figure that out. I have some bad news. This is the plug for the PCM. All the PCMs are gone. Got it. It's disgusting. I don't know if it'll work, but I got it. I retract my previous statement about junkyards. That was like so painfully annoying. <laughs> I really don't know if this PCM's gonna work. I tried to do some research on it to see if it would, but it was only $35. So if it works, it'll be great. If not, he said I can exchange it for other parts. There's no Jeeps there though. I'm trying to find a junkyard with Jeep parts. I mean, Wranglers. Trying to find a junkyard with Wrangler parts is like impossible because you can always fix it. Unless you're him. He can't do anything with a broken Jeep. This thing is disgusting. The real irony here is that even if this works, it still doesn't really work because that plug is still a problem. But I'm gonna see. Please work. Check engine light came on. Check engine light came on. Fuel pump came on. So I won't know if it works until I fix that prong, but I can see if I can get it to start. Well, after turning it over multiple times and trying to mess with the thing, I can confirm that it's not going to start. The problem is I don't know why. Well, I do know that it probably has to do with the connection because of the stupid wore out pin, but I don't know if that's the only reason. I can't actually tell you if the PCM is gonna work or if I'm gonna have to actually try to find one from a Wrangler, which is gonna take me off of a couple hundred dollars. I might just try to rewire the PCM, see if it works from there, or rewire the plug, see if it works, and if it does, we're good, and if not, I, I have no idea. It's gonna be fun, no matter what we do. You wanted to go out, I just let you outside. What did you, what is your problem? What is your problem? For those of you who don't know, this is my puppy Kai. We call him puppy Kai. We also call him stinky puppy, stinker. Um, I call him thick. Thick. You is thick, aren't you puppy? Yes, I do that even though it makes everyone else uncomfortable. 
Well, that was fun and I have nothing else to talk about, but in conclusion, does a Jeep Cherokee's PCM work in a Jeep Wrangler? I have no idea, but I'll, I'll update you and find out. So if, if you watch this video and now you're mad because you don't know, um, sorry. I was really hoping to find out. I really don't know if it'll work. I'm crossing my fingers. I've read that it does. Some people have said, you know, it's a good experiment, but it was 35 bucks. I will, as soon as I rewire, I got this plug. It's a good one. The one on mine is all messed up, but I got this. I'm gonna rewire this, you know, stick all these wires. You know, I've, I've got a lot of work to do. So I'm gonna rewire this, hook it up to the PCM and see if it works. Okay, bye. I like this case better. Yeah. Or, oh yeah, I have a, this tool in there. Okay, it's like, dad's home now. We're gonna see if we can get it to work. It is useful having a second hand. Okay. I can just drive it. So, after careful speculation, I can conclude two things. First off, a Cherokee PCM does work in a Wrangler. Second off, I didn't have anything wrong with my PCM and I just wasted one. At least the repair was only 35 bucks. The other issue is you're probably gonna forever have a check engine light, which I, I read about in the thing, 